The next speaker, as I indicated earlier, is the Secretary General of the China Elevator Association. He is also the Chairman of the China Academy for Building Research. The CEA, China Elevator Association, has a thousand members, and CEA itself is the largest sponsor of the world's major lift and elevator expo. They cover an area of 150,000 square meters um, at these expos, and there's one due early next year. So if we are attentive, we might um, receive free invitations to China for the expo next year. So ladies and gentlemen, may you please join me in welcoming Mr. Zheng Leixiang. Mr. Leixiang. Thank you, sir. Hi. You'll be Hi. fine, eh? Thank Hi. you very much. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Today, I would like to uh, talk about uh, the market and industry of the uh, global market and uh, with emphasis on the China market and industry. I like to talk about uh, the the major country, uh, the new installation market of the major countries and regions in 2008. You can see that in China we have uh, uh, in China we have 70. So 70, uh, 770,000 units uh, in uh, 2008. And uh, you can see in India, we have uh, 55,000 units. In Korea, 30, 38,000. Japan, uh, 21,000. And mid, in the Middle East area, with uh, uh, 48,000. In EU country, in EU we have uh, about 140,000 units, uh, US and, uh, no, uh, and Canada together with about, uh, about 35,000 units. So in Russia with 40, uh, 46,000 units, so this is the new installation market. Uh, so can say t today is this morning I got the, the data from the, the South Africa with well, 1,500. And uh, the South Africa is a, is a economy uh, hub of the South, uh, South African continent. So here is uh, for the South African countries, maybe the South African countries, we think that uh, got the information about 30,000 units a year. So this is also a very important market, but uh, I have no, uh, had no inf any information before coming here. For the talk about the existing installations of the major countries and the regions, we can say currently in China we have 6, point, uh, six million install in, uh, installations in operation. Mm -hmm. You can say in India it's about uh, uh, 537, uh, uh, 37 uh, existing installations. In Korea, we have 700,000 units. Middle East, we estimate about 800,000 units. In Euro, we have 6.3 million installations. Uh, in US, we, uh, and uh, combined with uh, Canada, with uh, 1.05 uh, million installations. Russia with uh, roughly about uh, 500,000 uh, uh, installations. Mm -hmm. So you can see China takes about 35% uh, of the world total uh, in elevator installations. 
For the, if we talk about uh, today, we, we can see the experts from uh, the South American country, the government, talk about uh, the standard system. I can, really, I can understand that uh, here in South Africa, they also belong to the EN, they use, uh, follow the year 81, 20 and 50. I guess so. Is, is, uh, we can see we have the three major elevator standard system. Uh, one the yen is a European norm, and uh, Japan and North America is 17. And uh, the ISO, uh, no, the ISO TC170 uh, uh, is already converted to the year 81, 20, and 50 into the global prescriptive safety standard, he called the 8100. So the 8100 will be the global, uh, global prescriptive, uh, prescriptive safety standard for the whole world. I think uh, uh, the South Africa will follow this standard. So the China is also implemented this standard. To well, uh, develop, uh, well implemented uh, uh, this standard system, our association also develop, uh, develop, is developing a lot of standards to supporting uh, the EN, uh, EN uh, standard. Because the EN standard for the E81 is a class C standard. For a country without uh, the European system, uh, missing the class A and class B standard is very difficult to directly implement the E81 system in our country. So our association uh, is developing a system to supporting the to uh, supporting to implement uh, the E81 system and ISO uh, global prescriptive uh, safety standard. For our uh, the category of our association standard, we talk, uh, we have the social responsibility because work, working safety and health. So we have this project will collaborate with the uh, uh, European Lift Association. European Lift Association is um, a very uh, is a. Association Association is a federation of representing the whole European countries. We have the eco design and the environment also protect our, our association work together with the ILA, with the European Lift Association. We have the uh, developer the rescue and the equipment companion documents. We also have the product standards, like uh, uh, we are developing standard on the rims that we can see. So, uh, we emphasize on reliability, availability, maintainability, safety, and environment, and durability. So, so now, for the year 81 is the safety protection rules, missing the reliability, availability, and the maintainability requirements. So we, we, has, we have seen that here in South Africa, they require the lifetime of the products must be 20 to 25 uh, years. So that emphasizes the durability all the lifetime. So we will support with the standard to support this requirement on the lifetime. We are, for the uh, we are developing some uh, standards that uh, we have a higher requirement than the E81 because uh, in China we have a, a very tough uh, operating environment. You know, in, chi in southern China, it's uh, very humid and hot. And we have the typhoon uh, hurricanes like hurricanes. In north, we have a harsh winter, very cold, with maybe minus 20 degrees. So it's, uh, we must develop a product that can be suitable for the whole, uh, whole area of China. So we need uh, to develop a higher requirement, higher uh, than the European, uh, than the European uh, standards. We have uh, like the develop some uh, like a manufacturing process to Im uh, improving the quality and uh, inter uh, interchangeability. Because uh, currently we are, have a lot of standard products, 
but we, we think about uh, if we can standardize the, uh, the, the, door, uh, the door size or some of component size, we can do the mass production, not using the flexible system. We use the standard, uh, uh, standard uh, machining system, so we can do uh, manufacture the products very cheap with very low cost to reduce to save the money for the users. And also we, we have the, like, uh, the, to define how to manufacture it, like uh, how to do the welding, how to do the, um, the bending and uh, the material requirements. So we are doing that like, like this. And also we, we talk about the, we are developing the cyber security. The, the Internet of Things and the big data standard, because the the safety and the privacy protection is very important. Now people concern about that, because uh, you know we put the IoT into the into the elevators. Like we have cameras, we have lots of maybe the re a lot of recording the sound. We, we use face recognition, but it's. Uh, Maybe this is the problem of the privacy protection. You know, they can the uh, the maintainers can access through the uh, through the internet can check who uses the elevator. This is maybe the intrusion of for the uh, for the system. Maybe someone to hack hack the system. That will be very dangerous for the, uh, the uh, for for the privacy. You know. So we we are doing some standard to have very high security, and we we like something. You know, we can we have can put a camera into the cabin. But you cannot uh, know who you are using the, uh, this system. But you have face recognition. You just um, cannot change those ID. Only the action. You know the someone uh, endangers the safety. You know this. But uh, we we like uh, cartoon. We cartoon side uh, uh, make the the real person become a uh, cartoon. So you cannot uh, the the other guys cannot uh, say. Who really use the elevator? We can only this uh, is very very important for the for the future because we use the IoT, but we have very very security problem on the uh, the privacy protection and uh, the the cyber security. So we are doing a lot of these standards with together with ILA with ISO TC178 together. So. Let's talk about China. So we can, you can see the number of register uh, installation in mainland China. This is, uh, we, you can see in the last, uh, we have more than 20% uh, uh, increase annually. So it's, uh, you can see growing very rapidly. This is uh, the new elevator lift and escalator development, uh, de develop, uh, deliveries in mainland China. You can see, starting from uh, year 2000, we have very quick uh, development of the, uh, the, the delivery of the elevator and uh, escalator uh, equipment. So. Uh, about uh, we have about 20 per over 20 percent a year annual increase, but uh, with the last three years we started uh, to slow down the process. This year we also we are pick up again. So you can see our industry in uh, in China in 20, uh, 2018. We have about 200, uh, 850,000 units of elevator and escalator manufactured in China. We have about 80,000 uh, escalator manufactured. That means that uh, uh, I estimate that uh, in the whole world, is 1.2 million new installations. That means in China, we manufacture almost uh, over 65% of the world total in system. 
And also we export, we export 90,000 units systems uh, last, uh, last year. So it's um, uh, about 10% of the products manufactured in China for export. But uh, when you say that, uh, uh, talk about the, we, we this talk about the system exports. If you count the, for the, you know, lots of uh, installation in uh, the other parts of the world also use the, uh, the China-made uh, uh, control system, the, the drive machines. So in total, we have actually bigger. Uh, the, when the uh, considering the manufacturing, we are have a very higher potential. And also, if you think about the our Irish stop last year is 21. You say compared with Europe, it's about five to six stops. So also in China, the elevator is is big. It's almost 800 kilo or to 1,000 1,000 kilo. It's um, you can see each unit we are much bigger than the, the, the other parts of the world. We have a licensed system for elevator manufacturers. We have currently we have 650,000 licensed uh, manufacturers. We have very advanced production facility. You can see a lot of factories with a, a lots of fully automated production lines. We use a lot of robots. We use the, a lot of uh, uh, machining centers, automatic machining centers, and uh, uh, sheet metal machines. We have currently we have the problem of a serious overproduction capacity. So for the main, uh, for the number of installer and the maintainers, uh, currently we have we also have a license system. So the license is over uh, 13, uh, 13, 000, uh, 13, The number of employees in our industry is over one million. So. The total existing, uh, you can see, uh, as I already mentioned, the 6.6 .6 million insta uh, billion uh, installations. And uh, the register uh, is currently by C size, uh, by the end of last year, is 6.28 uh, million. Because uh, the home lift for uh, in China without a uh, market uh, um, uh, super region, so without counting, uh, we have more than uh, 300,000 units of home, home lifts. So the, we, let's talk about the prospects of the future of the elevator industry in China. For this year, the de de delivery, this year our industry is good. So the delivery will be uh, increased 15% this year. The new installation will be over 900,000 units. And also we have a, a new growth point, that's the add-on uh, elevators. When China's government now encourages to renovate the old buildings with elevators, so we have built lots and lots of uh, old buildings, uh, the buildings in 19, uh, 1990s and uh, 19, uh, beginning of 1920s with about five stories. Uh, the building with five story. Now you know the a lot of people become senior. It's very difficult to climb up the the buildings. So the government want to solve this problem to encourage to add on the the, the elevator to the existing buildings. So it's uh, this will be very huge market. So the huge market potential will be 2.5 million if we, we can finish this add-on uh, add elevators in the existing buildings. And also, you know currently we have smaller replacement and modernization market because uh, we already have 6.6 .6 million installation, but uh, uh, over 80% of the existing installation less than 10 years. That means not uh, very young. Not, so we are in the future we will have a very uh, growing in the replacement and the modernization uh, market will be grow, pick up. Maybe currently we have only 100,000 a year. 
and uh, we will go to with uh, 20 percent growth because uh, we like we in China the people like modern things. We use we change it to upgrade the safety and uh, the technology. So people like uh, new technology things. So uh, as I believe that with the old existing uh, the existing installation will quickly pick up and uh, be re replaced. So in, uh, in China, we have very huge development potential. Well, I estimate that uh, in the future, uh, China will manufacture, de deliver uh, the local market will be 1.2 million a year. If you compare with uh, uh, the, uh, some of the market, like uh, the mature market in South Korea, this is, uh, figure is very conservative. So it will be realized uh, for sure. And also we, have, we will have the total existing uh, installation will be 50 million. That means we need uh, to double our current figure. That's we we go to if we reach 50 million, we need a long way. We need a, maybe major loss, maybe 25 million uh, new uh, new one to manufacture to supply this market to reach the existing um, installation to, uh, to uh, 50 million. We will benefit from the overseas elevator market. You know, the urbanization is not happened only in China. It's for worldwide, even in Europe. So they, they have lots of urbanization. So I believe that like India will be next biggest market, uh, maybe equal to China, like we can reach. Currently, even India, you know, have the population same with, face the same with China. I think uh, and, uh, uh, the India are facing the same problem of China. I think the, the, the Indian people must use the same style of building uh, to uh, solve the problem of the, uh, uh, the living problem. So I think uh, in India will become, so become another uh, uh, very big one similar to China. So I think our, you know the, the the supply chain in China, with the production in China, I think will, uh, China will benefit from the development of the India market. And uh, a lot of like uh, uh, South Asian countries, they are also a big market. And the Middle East countries, they are a lot of young, young people. They need the houses. So we can solve, we can benefit from, from this. So we have uh, um, a very, as I believe that China, we we'll have a very bright future, in uh, bright future for the elevator industry. So, come to uh, to work with us. I I'd like to take this opportunity to invite everybody here to attend our next uh, to visit our next show in Shanghai. In uh, we hold World Elevator and Expo 2020. So. Just the, uh, the anchor also mentioned that this, this expo is very, very big and you can find any, anything, any components you want. Thank you, thank you very much for your attention, thank you. <laughs>